This lesson describes the use of the 3D rotation and translation tools and demonstrates their use within Flash Professional. So here on our stage, we have a basic shape object. So this is simply something created with the Polystar tool. And what we're going to want to do is use two different tools that work with objects on sort of like a 3D plane. And it's not really 3D, it's sort of quasi 3D. It's often referred to as 2.5D or postcards in space because really we're dealing with flat planes and we're just shifting the perspective in a way that is very 3D-like. And you'll see what I mean as I go through this. The first thing we'll need to do to actually use these tools is to transform this particular object into a movie clip symbol instance. And the way you do that is to select the object and go to Modify, Convert to Symbol, and then we can give this a name. So we'll call this Star. It's a movie clip. We'll keep its registration point at the center and hit OK. So we can tell by the Properties Inspector that this is now a movie clip object. And since it is a movie clip object, we are now able to use the 3D rotation and translation tools upon it. So going over to the toolbar, the first thing I'll choose is the 3D rotation tool. You'll notice when I select this tool that we have this sort of 3D overlay on here that describes a number of different axes. As I hover over each of these, we can see this red one represents the X axis. The green one represents Y, and the blue represents Z. So I can click and move around here, and this is sort of dials in a rotation along that particular plane. So we can see here I can shift this star a bit forward here along X. I can also shift it along Y. And I can move it along the z-axis as well if I wish. So that's the rotation tool. We can go back in here and choose the 3D translation tool as well. The translation tool will allow us to shift the perspective on this along x, y, or z. So y is designated by this green arrow here. And that pulls it up and down. And it's subtle, but you can probably see how the perspective changes as I move this slowly up and down. X is represented by this red arrow. And it's probably a bit more apparent here what's happening. It's almost as if we are moving alongside this plane or moving away from it. And then this little guy in the middle here is Z. And Z allows us to shift forward or backward in Z space. So using these tools, we can simulate a lot of 3D effects that only require things such as rotation and translation along these different axes. Sometimes you don't need full-blown 3D to actually do this stuff. So this has been a lesson to describe the use of these tools and demonstrate how they can be used to shift perspective on movie clip symbol instances.